Well, good afternoon, folks, and thanks for being here with us today. Well, once again, another exciting day in beautiful Kansas City. Uh, when I think about what's happening downtown and in the very heart of the city, I can't help but be excited. I've said before and I'll say again, if you can't love Kansas City today, you never will. Residents, visitors, city planners, developers, business owners are looking at our downtown neighborhood again as a hub of activity for revitalization, for creativity and innovation. The Power and Light District coupled with the State of the Art Sprint Center, the world-renowned Kauffman Center for Performing Arts have all made downtown an enriched and gorgeous entertainment destination. Our art scene is incredibly vibrant and the culinary options that surround us draw people in from all every corner of the city and all over the map. And you can tell by looking at me that I am an expert on culinary options. So now more than ever, residents are returning to downtown at an increasingly rapid pace. It's the center of everything in Kansas City right now. And I want to make sure that people understand that when we talk about downtown being the center of everything, downtown in every city is the heart of the city. And if the heart isn't pumping strong, then the limbs don't get oxygenation and blood and they die. So we want to keep downtown strong, but we want to make sure that we're working out the rest of the city as well. We have projects like One Light and Two Light uh, that are being developed. We have the renovation of the old Power and Light building uh, with some grant fantastic apartments there. We have upcoming projects like Traders on Grand and Commerce Bank building on Main Street. And that's just to name a few, and that's further proof of how strong we are downtown. Economic development is on the rise, and the education options are going up as well. So with all of the excitement that uh, this brings, uh, it brings the need to develop forward-thinking innovations that are, and they are representative of the needs and the desires of the people who live, work, and play downtown every day. So that's why I'm really here and excited to be here uh, today celebrating a brand new partnership with Zip Cars and the City of Kansas City to bring wheels to you when you want them and need them. Uh, membership service is available through Zipcar and the city and it works in the downtown area. By doing this we're providing additional mobility options to residents, businesses, visitors, and students. Our downtown has a number of options and this is just the latest one of a great a series of options. And that's something that used to be few and far between was options in downtown. It used to be that your only option was walking or bus and if you were walking, you were simply passing by oil-stained surface parking lots. That's not been the case for some time now, and you can look around downtown and tell that we have made tremendous progress with this and the streetcar, bikes, and walking. We're doing all those things necessary to add mobility options for everybody's needs and wants. And I want to thank Zipcar for being a partner with us on this and for the opportunity for our residents to increase their connectivity and accessibility as we build the city of the future. So now I'd like to welcome a new partner, a good friend, and a man who dresses impeccably well, uh, Neff Al Albino. Neff? Again, thank you, Mayor James. Your leadership in making Kansas City a great place to live is reflected in the people here today and in your vision in incorporating new ideas, new modes of travel, and new development into this area. Today, we're officially bringing the le world's leading car sharing service to downtown Kansas City, and we couldn't be more excited to be here. I appreciate the time you have taken out of your busy schedule to be a part of this official launch. Before we begin, I want to thank several guests here today, a few of whom you will be hearing from in the coming minutes. In every market we enter, we seek to develop long-term partnerships with the public and private sector. I'd like to recognize those who have helped us so far. Of course, Mayor James, Councilman Reed, Sherry McIntyre, Bruce Campbell, and so many other partners throughout the city. As I mentioned, we're the world's leading car sharing company. We were founded in 2000 as a scrappy startup with a bold mission, to make cities a better place to live. Today, worldwide, we have over a million members and over 12,000 vehicles in nine countries across the globe. That includes a presence in over 500 cities and towns and over 500 college and university campuses, including the University of Missouri, Kansas City. We are so pleased with the support we have received from the city 
and we look forward to enabling, enabling sustainable transportation options within Kansas City for the years to come. We are launching today here in downtown Kansas City with eight vehicles, two of these vehicles located conveniently near Union Station. Zipcar membership is simple and easy. Just join our mobile app, reserve and drive. Our low rates include gas, insurance, maintenance, roadside assistance, and 180 miles per day. A designated parking spot for easy pickup and return. Members can reserve, drive any one of these vehicles when they want 24 seven. We hope to continue to grow our relationship here in Kansas City and continue to expand, bringing more cars to more people and to more people in more places throughout the city. All this would not be possible without our next speaker, and without further ado, I am pleased to introduce the driving force behind alternative transportation options in the city, Councilman Jermaine Reed. Thank you. So it is good to be here and to join all of you and our partners with Zipcar here in Kansas City today. Mayor James and to all of our executives that have joined us from Zip, Zipcar, I believe from Chicago and other places, uh, we welcome you here to Kansas City and we're delighted that you're here. In addition to that, you know, I've been a Zipcar member since uh, 2006 and I wanted to showcase my old outdated card, but uh, it's a little wear and tear on it, but it is uh, one of the, the, the oldest cars that Zipcar has. Uh, but I bring that up because when I graduated from the University of Missouri uh, in 2006, I moved to Washington, D.C. I moved to Washington, D.C. Uh, without much of anything uh, besides clothes and a hope and a dream to kind of go and be a young professional and, and make, make something of myself. Didn't have a car, didn't have uh, anything besides the transportation options that were available, of course, with Metro Rail uh, and everything else in Washington, D.C. I found out about Zipcar and I, I signed up. I lived in the U Street area in Washington, D.C. and there was a um, Zipcar Volkswagen, uh, which I don't believe you all have on your market anymore, more, uh, but it was a Zipcar Volkswagen uh, right in my neighborhood and I used it. I used it very regularly uh, to take trips to perhaps the grocery store or maybe a long hour or two commute to wherever I might be going. And so today it is a great delight to be here at Kansas City, now some 10 years later, uh, to be able to help launch uh, eight vehicles here in Kansas City and to think about the options that many people in Kansas City and travelers from far and near across our entire region have when they use Zipcar options. If you're traveling by airport um, or, or air, of course, you have the option of using a Zipcar uh, going to your hotel destination. If you're traveling here in Kansas City just from River Market and looking and you don't have a car and you want to use the streetcar, uh, you could use the streetcar, but then also if you need to take a low commute, you could do that by going to perhaps Costco's up the street or to a local Walmart or to a local Walgreens or something along those lines uh, to visit a, a relative. And so it's good to be able to see Zipcar here in Kansas City uh, and to be able to get people out of their cars and not necessarily have to worry about the maintenance of a vehicle uh, if they do not have a car. And so uh, with that, we're so delighted that uh, Zipcar is here in Kansas City. We're so delighted for so many people who played a huge role in making this happen. I know that they uh, thank me for my role as a transportation infrastructure uh, chair, but I wouldn't be there if the mayor didn't appoint me to the committee. He might take me off tomorrow, so who knows? Uh, but uh, all of our city staff who have really played a driving force in this, Bruce Campbell and Beth, all of you all, uh, and our Public Works Department who really helped make this happen. Thank you to you and to Zipcar and to all of the residents of Kansas City who will be using this in the future. Uh, get ready to start your engines and put the key in the ignition because it's about to go down here in Kansas City with our Zipcar options. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Reed. City and Public Works are very committed to providing different options for mobility and transportation and being sustainable. I would like to thank Bruce Campbells, our Parking Services Manager, who has worked tirelessly to bring options to, to um, Kansas City, such as Zipcar. I uh, thank the Parking Policy and Review Committee, who worked on helping make sure we found some spots that worked for um, taking out some parking so we could put the Zipcars on the street, coordinating with the streetcar process as well so the zip cars are visible from the streetcar and they're convenient to the residents who live in the area 
Um, a big shout out and thanks to the Parking and Transportation Commission members who also looked at and reviewed and helped us with this process and kept pushing us. Zipcar is an outstanding part of the multimodal options here in Kansas City now that we have for ability to reduce the number of vehicles that people can own as they live in this area and have less part need for parking and then their vehicles and we're more sustainable for the community. Look forward to having you guys download their app and getting ready to um, purchase the vehicle rental of the zip cars and we want to thank this for the continued operations of the transportation options from streetcar to buses as has been indicated and zip cars are an integral part of having a denser downtown in Kansas City and to support the urban lifestyle and the living quarters that are happening in this area and we hear this issue a lot of what do I do now because I don't have as many parking spots well they have one maybe zero to one cars now and it's a great option and it's a great change in our mindset especially here in the Midwest and this is a continuation of options for sustainability and how do we make sure that we're using our resources in a shared manner and opportunity so we look forward to the great options if you notice where the zip car is being parked over there there's great fun on the street so you can identify where it is and i want to thank zip car for their their great artwork to where the cars are going to be parked and with that i'd like to introduce elizabeth, elizabeth cook the regional vice president of zip car to help move us along thank you sherry and thank you councilman reed we would not be here today without your continued support Zipcar's goal is to make cities better places to live. We do that in a variety of ways, but most importantly, it's providing residents with the freedom to get where they need to go. Car ownership is expensive and it can be a hassle. Our members report savings of up to $600 per month compared to car ownership. That's real savings. Savings that can go to necessities like food, housing, and maybe even some fun. Zipcar helps to enable car-free, and car light lifestyles. Additionally, each zip car takes up to 13 personally owned vehicles off the road, reducing congestion and supporting environmental sustainability. Our members drive less and use active transit more, reducing their personal CO2 emissions by on average 1,600 pounds per year. At Zipcar, we're committed to making cities great places to live, including Kansas City. But that cannot be done alone. It really takes the support of the entire city. We've had tremendous support in getting to today's downtown launch, and we thank you all for your continued support of Zipcar. I'd now like to invite Mayor James and all of the speakers here today to officially welcome Zipcar to downtown Kansas City by pulling out their phones and unlocking the cars. I'd invite everyone to gather around the cars as Mayor James and Councilman Reed Honk the horn, start the cars to officially launch Zipcar in downtown Kansas City. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Ba, 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 ba. 